Hi, I'm Michael Gordon. There's been a clear shift in the conversation about what's going on in the New Zealand economy. We've been hearing for some time about the constraints on the supply side, whether that's soaring shipping costs, disruptions to supply chains, or difficulty in finding workers. All of those things point to a spike in inflation this year. We'll get the first confirmation of that next Friday with the June quarter CPI release, but it's a theme that will probably continue throughout the rest of this year. Now that on its own is not something that the central, central bank should be responding to, nor can it really. Monetary policy tends to work over longer horizons, more like one to two years ahead. So the key for us has been whether the conditions are in place for that initial price shock to become self-sustaining. And that's really a story about the strength of demand. And what we've been seeing in recent times is evidence that yes, demand is in fact running quite hot. The quarterly survey of business opinion this week was quite important to us. We've seen firms becoming more upbeat about activity, hiring, investment and their profitability, even with all these supply pressures. We also saw quite a strong lift in labour turnover, and while that's not firm evidence, it does at least suggest that employers are bidding up to wages to try and nab the right people. So all of those things are markers of strong demand. So we've changed our forecast to reflect that. We now expect the Reserve Bank to start increasing the cash rate from November this year. And other forecasters have come to pretty similar conclusions. As for next Wednesday's monetary policy review, we expect the Reserve Bank will start to shift its language away from what it's previously said about time and patience to meet its targets and start to lay the groundwork for a normalisation of policy settings in coming months. Talk to you next week.